Types of Earth's Orbits In this video we will see the types of Earth's orbits that in which categories orbits of Earth have been divided. On the basis of the distance from Earth, the types of orbits are classified into low Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit, geostationary orbit, and high Earth orbit. Each of these orbits serves specific applications concerning coverage area, cost, and purpose. Now we will take a look at all of the orbits and understand the purpose they serve. Number 1 Low Earth Orbit this orbit extends from 160 km above Earth and ends at 2000 km. It is not possible to achieve an orbit below 160 km without artificial thrusters due to the atmospheric drag at that altitude. The mean orbital velocity of any satellite that needs to reach in LEO should be 7.5 km per second 27,000 km per hour. This value decreases as the altitude increases. Satellites in this orbit have an orbital period in the range of 90 to 120 minutes. The low Earth orbit is the most populous and most accessible realm of all the Earth's orbits. More than 800 satellites are currently in orbit in the low Earth orbit. Satellites in low Earth orbit have some advantages and disadvantages for example. The low altitude of the low Earth orbit is apt for communication and imaging satellites. Due to the altitude, communication signals require less power and time to travel between the Earth stations and the satellites. Also, imaging satellites can capture very detailed pictures. Satellites for the low Earth orbit are easier to build and can be less expensive than their counterparts in higher orbits. However, the popularity and ease of launching a satellite into this orbit have inadvertently contributed to the issue of space debris. Satellites in this orbit have to deal with atmospheric drag. They usually have a shorter lifespan than geostationary satellites. Number 2 Medium Earth Orbit The medium Earth orbit is also known as the Intermediate Circular Orbit. Medium Earth orbit extends from 2000 km and ends right below 35,786 km. Satellites in this region have an orbital period ranging from 2 to 24 hours. Medium Earth orbit has also some advantages and disadvantages for example. The medium Earth orbit is very useful in providing connectivity and navigation to the polar regions. The purpose of most of the satellites in the MEO are communication, navigation, and to provide a gravity-less environment for scientific experiments. Satellites in this region are a bit expensive as compared to satellites in the low Earth orbit. This orbit also puts satellites in proximity to the Van Allen radiation belts. These belts are regions of highly charged particles maintained by Earth's magnetic fields. The charged particles in this region can hurt the performance of satellites. Number 3 Geostationary Orbit The geostationary orbit is a unique area in the space around our planet. It is located at a very precise altitude and has a circular orbit. Additionally, this orbit is always circular. Satellites in this orbit appear stationary from Earth. Geostationary orbit has an altitude of 35,786 km from the Earth. All satellites in this orbit have an orbital period equal to Earth's rotational period 24 hours. Geostationary satellites have some advantages and disadvantages for example. A major benefit of this orbit is the fact that Earth stations can be stationary. They don't have to track satellites continuously. Moreover, the coverage area from this altitude is pretty good. The cost of launching a satellite into GEO is high. 
Due to the increase in distance from Earth stations, there is a considerable lag in communication. Number 4 High Earth Orbit Any orbit beyond the geostationary orbit is known as High Earth Orbit. High Earth Orbit is loosely attributed to any orbit beyond 35,786 km. High Earth Orbit has the same abbreviation as Highly Elliptical Orbit. These two orbits High Earth Orbit and Highly Elliptical Orbit may not necessarily be the same. A highly elliptical orbit may be considered a high Earth orbit at its apogee. Naturally, satellites in this orbit have an orbital period longer than 24 hours. Due to this, all satellites in this orbit appear to be retrograde, even if they have prograde orbits. Recall that retrograde means moving backward. Since Earth rotates at a faster speed, Satellites in HEO appear to be heading in the opposite direction. Like other orbits of Earth high Earth orbit has also some advantages and disadvantages for example. Satellites in the HEO are useful to study our planet's magnetosphere and for other astronomical observations. These satellites face less exposure to atmospheric drag as compared to satellites in the low Earth and medium Earth orbits. Communication delays and high costs of manufacturing and launching a satellite into this orbit are some of the areas of concern. Conclusively at the end we can say that each of this classification is purely on the basis of altitude from the surface of Earth. Each orbit has its purpose, advantages, and disadvantages.